got the title well. Do the thing on Malik Show! All right, guys, and today... Wait, check him out. It's Evasion Mode Prime weapon. But the best part of all, he has the original G1 colors. Yes, guys, all right, so today is a... He's movie accurate. Yeah, yeah, he's, he looks pretty good. So today, guys, is a momentous occasion for us in that this is... The last video in our Age of Extinction series. So this wraps up the collecting for Age of Extinction. Voyager class, Optimus Prime, Evasion Mode guys. And Age of Extinction of course has been donezo for a while of course. And you can see there's, it's kind of interesting. They, you have glass here with the windshield wipers in the back and up front. <laughs> like you would never need windshield wipers back here. Let's take a look at that gun real quick. This is actually very accurate. So this is a gun that you can plug things into and it will fire projectiles. Uh, in some way, I imagine you have to probably press this thing down or something. So it's a, it's a little kind of a cool gimmicky gun. It's not bad. Uh, this one, I if I can find a good chrome, I think we might chrome this someday. All right, and we have here, so you can see him in vehicle mode. Let's get a good look at him. Uh, he is missing one of his exhaust pipes on this side over here, guys, unfortunately. Okay, can I see, can I see? But outside of that, he looks really, really good, guys. This is a, a very good-looking version of the uh, G1 formulation. Got a little scuff right there. But nothing too too major here, guys. Definitely, we can, we can yeah. see that this is the mode prior to him going over to a more conventional type. This is the cab over type, but... Yeah, colors are really good on this, I think. All right, and let's go to the start of the show. So, um... To take a look at Transformation. This is actually sort of accurate to the movie. Because, look, so you look Yeah, they down. try to do that a lot with the movie toys. They try to keep it accurate. All right, so you left up his grill first, sorry. You left up those soup windows. And then, mm -mm, he flips it up. He's going to actually be a robot over here. He's not like this. He should be. If you're doing this at home with me, just in case you missed that last part. So then, his head sculpt looks like he's like, like that. So, um, you see this would actually go up, right? Right, right, right. Right, 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 right. yep. Then this would be the fender bender. You literally bend the fender. <laughs> fender, bender, bender, fender. Oh, yeah, and you lift that up. Then you lift this down. And you lift this up. You lift these tires down. And then, um... And then you uh, lift this big boy up. Yeah. And then do the fender bender. Literally. It doesn't look like it's too bad of a transformation, huh? Yeah, but it, it you could, like struggle to get it. Um, you actually struggle to uh, get it back into the. Uh, um, well, you definitely have to follow an order when you guys are putting them back and forth into, into vehicle into robot mode for sure. And then I know what you do for the um, transformation back. Just do what I'm doing in the reverse. Let us know if you actually have this toy. Yeah, guys, let, leave us a comment. Let us know if you have this Optimus. And also, guys, which is your favorite Optimuses from the movie series? Oh, we're done. <laughs> uh, and then you split the legs, right? Right? Right. You lift the foot. This is more like an advanced G1 toy. You see yeah, what I kind mean? of. Yeah. Okay, so I think that after you get all this stuff out of the way, why isn't it? Oh, 
Yeah, hold this by the side and then uh, bring it like this, see? See? Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, joints in this one are just a touch stiff. But they're still great quality. Then you put this up against this. Yeah, I, honestly, I think these were actually really, really good movie toys. Then put that up against there. You're almost done, pretty much. And you just lift that here. Put that right there. With the tires. You stand this guy up. You look for the smoke smokestack constantly. Because you know it's going to go up and roll and roll. Truly, there. Here you have Optimus Prime Invasion Mode and Robot Mode. Oh, whoa. Now this guy just sort of looks like the unmilitary uh, version just went right through. It seems really weird that there's a gap here though, doesn't it? What if... Oh, no, it's like this. Oh! Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> okay, guys, we got it now. That All right. one is a pretty... Oh, hold on. Can I see? With the... Oh yeah, I do. Okay, yeah, we got we got it sorted now. Okay, guys, so we got. Hold on, hold on. Let me some put hands in molded here. into the uh, into the things here. Oh, well, I think now, now this coloration is a little bit different than the Takara one, of course. All right, and he's got he's got his movements kind of a little bit weird here, guys, but. Movements weird. Yeah. You can, uh, it's interesting articulation here, guys. You got some hinges. I feel like this should rotate. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. All right, guys. So there it is. Uh, Optimus Prime. And let's take a look at his face sculpt. It's sort of an odd face sculpt compared to some of the other ones that we've had from the movie series. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's... Very clearly Optimus. This is a good look. I, I think the robot mode is actually pretty good looking. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I like this a lot. Uh, you can see you've got, got a little bit of uh, knee articulation. These joints are so stiff. A little bit of uh, knee articulation here. <laughs> Very There's definitely, you could tell it's Optimus. Of Optimus. But there is a battle damage <laughs> version from Takara that has the uh, different paint job and everything. This one just has a normal uh, sort of G1 colors for his paint job, but you can see he's definitely, he didn't look that big, honestly, in vehicle mode, I didn't think, but he, but he definitely looks like he is Voyager class uh, when you, when he's standing here, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's actually pretty tall. So this is, this is cool. I mean, this is, you know, I think, I feel like, okay, so I feel like, dude, I feel like we're sending out Age of Extinction on a high note with this guy. This is a really good character to end our Age of Extinction collection on, guys. Leave us a comment and let us know which Age of Extinction figures you have, guys, and which movie you like the best. I will show you how to like transform it back into vehicle mode. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Do it, do it. But first, let's take a sincere look at this before we end. I think he looks good. I, th I think it's a really good looking outfit. Why does he have red smokestacks? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. The humans, they tricked me. They trapped me. Now, honestly, I think, uh, the first, I think this guy. Because he's an inanimate object. What I'm trying to say is, I'm speechless. This is such a good toy. It is. It's we a, recommend it if you find it. It's a very, very cool Optimus figure. I don't know that I would say it's necessarily the best out of all the movie ones, but I think this is a good solid one for, for you know, for people that wanted a little bit of a, of a chase back to the LG1 <laughs> sort of styling. They also have a jazz that's like that. But it's also with high detail, yeah. We're keeping our eye out for that Jazz, guys. He has the same color scheme uh, for the first, first movie as G1 Jazz. That definitely is still on our target list. We're still collecting the first 
Actually, we're collecting all the movies except for Bumblebee and now except for Age of Extinction. So Age of Extinction and Bumblebee are done. The last night, we honestly only have one more figure left to get, and that's an Optimus. We may, I'm still trying to decide about Drift. If I find him cheap enough, we'll probably pick up Drift also. Uh, but I don't really care about that Mercedes car, so... Guys, we have, um, and we've got pretty substantial collections as it is. But guys, one, those two will be done pretty soon, and then it'll be just down to finishing up Dark of the Moon and Revenge of the Fallen and the first Transformers movie. Guys, leave us a comment. Let us know what your favorite toy collection from the movies is, guys. We'd like to know that. Lady Optimus Prime. Okay. So guys, now what are you going to do? Watching this video? If you like what you hear, please don't make this fall again. That's the iron part for a dog. Okay guys. So um... Sometimes his uh, arms could be a little bit stiff. You might have to use this force to get this guy. It's, it definitely is a matter, guys, of making sure you have him lined up for some of those things. Because, like, some Transformers you can do out of order. This, however, is not one of them. So what we have here is we have these these arms are going to make the the roof section right here. And you have to basically get these arms past the sides right here. And that can be a little bit of a trick. So. What I like to do is I like to get this part completely out of the way. And just kind of do them past each other. Okay, here we go. Alright guys. There we have that, and from there it's just a matter of getting it all together. I like that truck. Yeah, it's a good truck. And then this would need to go in here. It's a good truck. You ask me. Yeah, I think so too. Complex. Alright guys, and there we are. I think it's just a matter of plugging all this stuff in. Uh, there we go. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. There he is, back together again, guys. Just these parts, you definitely have to follow a specific order. And I don't know what that is because I haven't done this yet. But there he is, guys. But you can also uh, peg this onto here. Yeah. You can have a side. Is wrong. Oops. I undid a part of it. Yeah. I'll put it back. But there he is, guys. The very, <laughs> very cool Voyager class, guys. That is really much. Optimus Prime, guys. Our very final entry into the Age of Extinction collection, Check it out. guys. <laughs> and of course, guys, you can come back. Every October, guys, where we'll be doing our collection month, and we maybe this year we wound up 2019, guys. We wound up combining several movies together because our collections were a little light at the time. Next year, I imagine we may be doing that again with some of them. I'm not quite sure yet, but definitely roll back through in October, guys, to see what we have left of the Age of Extinction collection, guys. If you have collection videos as well, we would love to know that. Anyway, though, guys, that is our look. For the last entry in Age of Extinction, guys, Voyager Class, Evasion Mode, Optimus Prime, guys. If you did enjoy this video, guys, please give us a little thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you're not done already, guys. Blue bell next to the red subscribe button if you'd like to be notified of the latest guys' content that's because available, guys. Including other Transformers. We're done with Age of Extinction, but we probably will be doing other ones as well. Unless they have something in Studio Series, guys. Studio Series, however, has its own playlist, guys. So definitely check that out there as well, guys. Also, you can follow us on our Twitter feed where updates to the channel, guys, are made pretty much as soon as they happen, guys. And there is Twitter-specific content as well, including, guys, 
displays. So we had a number of displays this year to go with our collection. And you can check them all out on our Twitter feed, guys. Or if you are on Twitter, guys, feel free to follow us here, guys. Leave us a comment and let us know who is your favorite movie Optimus. That one? I like the Revenge of the Fallen Optimus. That was good as well. But you really can't go wrong with Optimus. Classic character, guys. And he's always fantastic, guys. That's why we feel like we're leaving this collection on a high note with this one. But guys, leave us a comment and let us know. We'd love to hear from you all. Anyway, that, guys, is going to do it for us this time. We will see you all next time. Bye-bye.